Hello, my Italian food fanatics, and welcome to a building block of cookery, egg cookery, and in this case, an omelet. We're going to make a classic omelet, but it's going to be stripped down, essentially, because I want you to focus in on the technique of making the omelet just making the omelet. So there's no salt, there's no fillers, there's nothing. There's a little bit of butter and the eggs. And that's all. And we put them in the pan. Okay. I want to show you how to make this because once you master this technique, you'll be able to do virtually anything with eggs. So it's fast. It's simple, but not simplistic. But this will be something that you can put in your culinary pocket and go anywhere in the world and basically even if you need a job and somebody asks you hey why don't you make me an omelet or scrambled eggs or what have you you'll be able to do it with confidence and you'll be able to make something super soigné something beautiful for your friends and family and the ones that you love so and this has uh, many many variations as you can as you as you'll see because I'm going to do a whole thing on egg cookery so Give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your comments, whatever they may be, and interact with you. If you have questions, if I can help you, I will. All right, now let's get in the kitchen. I'll see you on the other side. All right, my Italian food fanatics. Today, we are going to make a classic omelet. We'll start with three eggs and a couple of bowls. Now these are regular free range organic eggs, uh, the regular large size. There's nothing very special about these. Uh, you'll think that maybe these are better because they're, they have a brown shell. That's not true. The color of the shell only denotes the breed of the chicken, believe it or not. All right. The yolks are more of an indicator of the feed that uh, the chicken gets. So you can manipulate the color of the yolks, but you can't change the color of the, um, of the shell by what you feed the animal. It's a certain breed. The white ones, there's no difference between white and brown. Um, they can both be pasture fed and range, uh, free range. Um, so that's not an indicator. Just wanted to make sure that you maybe, you know, you knew that. So what I like to do is I like to break the uh, eggs into a bowl to begin with, to the first bowl, one at a time. That way, if there's any issues with the egg, we can deal with those issues right from the get-go without contaminating other eggs that we're going to place in this bowl. So if there's a shell or something like that in there, we can get rid of it as uh, before it goes in with the rest of the eggs and creates a problem. So, crack the egg in there. We see there are no issues at all. This goes into our bowl with the other eggs. And that way we keep everything clean and organized and orderly, essentially. So there we go. There's the, the third egg. And typically with these size eggs, for a nice size omelet, we're going to use three eggs. All right? And we'll be back to beat these up, and uh, we'll talk more about that in just a second. All right, my Italian food fanatics, we're back. We're just going to, in a circular motion with your fork, you beat up the eggs. Now... If we wanted to make eggs for, say, a three Michelin star uh, restaurant, what we would need to do is to put an immersion blender in here or put these in a blender and blend them up really, really well. Believe it or not, the amount of beating of the eggs that you do prior to making the omelet makes a huge difference. All right. So try to do the reason why I'm not using an immersion blender. I own an immersion blender. I own a regular blender too, a very nice one. However, just for everybody out there who may not own this equipment, I don't want you to think that it's beyond you to be able to do something on a very high level, okay? These little refinements are not necessary, you know, for just cooking at home. We're talking about people that are going to pay 
thirty dollars for a plate of eggs as opposed to you know a f an egg eggs that cost maybe uh, twenty five thirty cents to make um, you know there's a huge difference and rightly so so we will beat them You do this for a reasonably long time if you really want to make a fine omelet. So what you want to do is really take your time and beat these eggs very, very well. The more time that you take doing this, the better the end product is going to be. All right? Now. I'm making this omelet for you to show you the technique of making an omelet. I'm not going to add any salt. I'm not going to add any embellishments. I'm not going to add anything. It's just going to be some butter and the eggs. All right? So we're about ready to go to the stove now. And uh, so we'll be back in a second. All right, my Italian food fanatics, we're at the stove. I have a nonstick. 10 inch pan okay it's one that's it's a professional one it's, it's been used a lot believe it or not and so I use this on purpose I have a, a lot of different pans I use this on purpose to show you that it doesn't need to be a new pan like you see a lot of people on YouTube they go out and they buy all this new equipment and stuff like that it can be something that you've used before you it, as long as your technique is good it could even be stainless steel this is an egg pan I just happen to use it comes out of a restaurant uh, so what we'll do is we'll turn this up on the high heat all right and the technique of making the omelet is very simple it's everything's going to happen very very fast but two things are going to happen simultaneously the pan is going to be moved back and forth this way with your least dominant hand and then with a fork, we are going to stir in a circular motion this way to break up the eggs. So essentially an omelet is scrambled eggs that are put together. All right. If we were to not put them together, as you will see, they would remain scrambled. So that's another way of looking at the makeup of an omelet. Um, an omelet is basically scrambled eggs that are all put together. So we'll wait for this to come to temperature and we'll be back. All right, my Italian food fanatics, we are back. We're now going to take some butter, just a pat of butter, essentially, maybe about a half a tablespoon, and we will put it in the pan. Wait for it to melt and to foam up, just like you see here, maybe a little bit more. All right. And this is going to go very fast, as I've mentioned before. While we're waiting for that to come up to temperature, we continue to beat the eggs. All right. And that's about right. We will dump the eggs in. And remember what I said. We're going to stir like this and move the pan back and forth. Occasionally, we're going to scrape the sides just to make sure that we don't have any overcooked egg. All right. Now, this happens very, very fast. It's a simple operation, but it's not simplistic. You don't want any color on the eggs at all. Now, to some people, they'd be done almost about now maybe a little bit more, a couple more seconds, all right? Right about there is where you want to stop. We're going to turn the heat off. All right, now this is a classic omelet. I'm not saying that you're going to want your omelet um, this raw or this, it's not raw, this underdone. Let's put it that way. So you spread it out like this. All right, we're going to clean up the edges here. Let me just leave this here. I'll get a paper towel and we're going to clean this up like this. All right, so that there's no issues when we flip the 
omelet out. We just take a plate. And it's very simple. Instead of doing all the other stuff where you're hitting and tapping and doing that, very easy to do, especially in a non-stick pan. We just roll the omelet like that. It couldn't be simpler. Okay, now we are going to have to switch. The plate goes down and the, the pan turns over. And you have an omelet. Now, you can manipulate it with your hands like I'm going to do here. In fact, if you go into any fine dining room, believe it or not, your, your food is handled a lot more than you think it is. In fact, the, uh, the nicer the dining room, the more hands touch your food. What you see out on the buffet is not indicative of what you'll get in the actual, of what happens behind the scenes, especially, again, like I said, in a fine dining room. Now, there's a little bit of a flaw, but that's not a big deal. All right? Now, you'll notice one thing. Because we did this by hand, I'm going to zoom in. And you see this white right here? That's theoretically, if we were in a three Michelin star restaurant, that would be a flaw. That's why we hit it with an immersion blender, or we were to put it in a regular blender, and also strain the eggs, all right? Now, I may do a video where we do all of that stuff, too. But for our purposes, to learn how to make an omelet, this is the way it's done. You notice there's no coloring on the omelet, okay? There's no browning. In my opinion, any browning on an omelet is a flaw, all right? I don't like to see browning at all on any, any omelet, all right? Other types of egg cookery, it may be okay. But for, for a classic omelet, there can be no browning whatsoever. So now let's go and taste it. My Italian food fanatics, before we go taste it, I want to break this open and show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay. You'll notice that it is seemingly runny. That's a cooked egg. It's just that this is a classically cooked omelet. It is a little bit underdone or seemingly underdone. It's fully cooked. But this is what makes the omelet taste creamy and break apart. Velvety texture when it goes in the mouth, believe it or not. So that's, that's what you're looking for. You may not like it this underdone, but this is the way in which a classic omelet is made. When I was in cooking school, many, many, many moons ago, it took me a long time to appreciate and to like an omelet that was runny like that or seemingly undercooked. But then after a while, I got used to it and that's the way that I like my eggs now. I used to like them far more done, all right? But if, and that's why I'm spoiled. If I go to some buffet and they got some guy there making these omelets that have brown on them and uh, they're overdone, I just can't eat food like that anymore. Not that I'm trying to be a snob, it's just that egg cookery seems simple, and it is, but it's not simplistic. It's actually quite sophisticated, and it takes some technique. So that's what I'm trying to impart to you here. Once you master this, you can go anywhere with regard to eggs, all right? And it's not that easy to, and, that, and that's not that, it's not that difficult to master these techniques, all right? You just need a, little, a lot of practice. Buy yourself two or three dozen eggs, and make omelet after omelet after omelet. And when you're at the end of the day, and when you're done, you're gonna be a past master at making omelets. So let's go taste it. All right, my Italian food fanatics, you saw all of it done. And now here it is. The same one a second ago that I showed you. All right. I haven't, it's just been a couple, three minutes here since uh, we made it. And boy, is it gonna be delicious. Hmm. Man, if you try an omelet this way, slightly runny on the inside, 
and you learn to like it this way, it will change the way you feel about omelets and egg cookery in general. Eggs have to be treated very, very gently. And the more, the gentler we are with the eggs, the better end product we're going to have. Remember, I didn't add any salt. I didn't add anything. A little bit of butter and the eggs. And let me tell you, even just like this, even just like this, with nothing on them, you buy good eggs, they taste just phenomenal. Hmm. The velvety mouthfeel. It just, it melts in your mouth. All right? This is an omelet and egg cookery. A little bit different. A step above. No browning. That's a complete flaw in my opinion. All right? So learn how to make this. Go and get yourself, like I said earlier, a couple, three dozen eggs. Do like I show you on the video. Watch the video, practice. Watch the video again, practice. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. All right? In fact, there's a lot of other techniques to making scrambled eggs that I could have shown you where you're tilting the pan over and hitting it in different ways to make it come up this way and then folding the top over. You don't need to do that. I'm showing you a way that anybody with a modicum of practice will be able to master this in literally, I don't know, three, four, five tries maximum. If I was with you, maybe two or three at the most, and you'd have it, all right? Practice makes perfect. That's why in the restaurants, everything is so good because these people, these cooks, they make the food, the same food, over and over and over and over again. That's how they get good, and that's how you can get good as well. Keep practicing, keep trying, keep pushing the envelope, and you'll be a past master in no time at all. Please like and subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, ring the bell, and uh, share and leave a comment below. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.